water signs what's good welcome to epiphany tarot cancer pisces scorpio i'm gonna tap in with y'all real quick please like share subscribe comment all that good shit and we're gonna get right into this message okay first card we got out is empress energy okay water signs what's good empress energy okay this is y'all knowing y'all worth some of y'all could possibly be pregnant not all of y'all but empress energy some of y'all got y'all hair done nails done all that y'all just looking real good these days that's what's up you looking real good real vibrant real uh uh I don't know, like I heard Mamiana. So if y'all got kids, like you can be giving off like MILF energy. Like y'all just look good as fuck, glowing, you know, dress nice, dress well, look well taken care of, radiant. You know, Empress energy is like uh she's the master manifester. Shit just comes to her. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's up. Um what I was getting ready to say, I was getting ready to say something else about the Empress card, but anyway, we got love yourself first, and then we got acquired taste. So, water signs, I feel like you're starting to become you're raising your standards, you're starting to become more picky about the type of people that you date, which is a good thing. Or, this Empress energy could be somebody who's like, um, somebody who's inspiring you to do this, could be like a muse type of energy, a feminine energy that's around you that you feel like is like really pretty or really gorgeous or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And it's just whoever this person is, their energy is just inspiring you to raise your standards, to up the ante on your worth, you know what I'm saying? It's like love yourself first. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's either this is could be vice versa, so this is just either you seeing somebody in their empress energy and it's inspiring you or you're in the empress energy and you're inspiring somebody else to love themselves first acquired taste is like you being picky about what you um engage in what you um entertain i'm talking about all across the board so friends places people it's just like you're starting to um You're starting to just know your worth and love yourself more like real shit. And then on the bottom of the deck, we got way out options here. So some of you could be dating or you're just looking at your options. Like some of you, you if you're dating people, you could be, just be like weighing people up. Be like, no, thank you. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, or some of you, you could be like, it, the Empress could be a married woman too. So for some of you that are married, I feel like you're inspiring somebody to love themselves first. Yeah, acquire taste and love yourself first. So let's see, this is good energy, water sign. So let's see what's going on here. Yeah, I just seen a butterfly, which talks about evolution. Butterfly can represent rebirth energy. So it's like you're manifesting like just all new shit, everything new, all new, like real shit. Um, some of you could be working on a creative project. Some of you do music or some of you could be like an Instagram model or something like that. I was getting ready to say something too something else. I don't know why I keep forgetting what I'm getting ready to say in this reading. Um, right, let's see. Yeah, we got coffee cups. So some of you uh, water signs, you're coffee drinkers. It says meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. Yeah, that's why I said some of you have an empress as a friend or something like that. And this person is like inspiring you to level up, to know your word, to heal, to be better, um, to put yourself first. You have a friend around you. Maybe you could be meeting up with this person for a coffee date or drinks or just, you know, a girl on like girl, girl date or something like that. Some of you could be a part of your LGBTQ. So maybe you're dating this Empress energy for some of you. That's not for everybody. But yeah, it says feeling uplifted friendship. So you have a good friend around you that's an Empress around you that's encouraging you to fulfill your dreams, to heal yourself, you know, to 
just trying to uplift you, speak positivity over you. And that's what's up. Like, real shit. You know, maybe you seeking advice from somebody. Whoever you're seeking advice from, you're getting it from the right person. Because the Empress, she's really like, you know, this is somebody who doesn't mind giving you positive encouragement, positive reinforcement, uplifting your spirit. You know what I'm saying? But that's what Empress energy does. Like the Empress is a great friend to have. Or some of you just could even be your mother if you know you have a good mother figure. Give me another card. This is like something or someone has triggered your um your spiritual awakening. You know, you're going on a different path now. You're leaving something behind, but whatever you're leaving behind. It has taught you to value yourself because you may have sacrificed yourself in the past for something or someone. And I feel like even if you're a water star female and you're married, I still feel like you're choosing to put you first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a, yeah see, girl with the snake, some of you were dealing with a narc and you're, you're possibly like an empath. You know, narcissists love to feed off empathic people, empathic energies. It says empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used enable boundaries. So, yeah, you're needing to um, enable boundaries with somebody. So some of you, you already did this. Some of you already set boundaries with whoever this narcissistic ass person is. Others of you, you're getting advice from this empress on how to set boundaries with this person that you're dealing with. Because I feel like the person that you're dealing with could be pretty toxic or they're really draining and taxing on your energy. But I feel like you're listening to into you're listening to your intuition and you're getting advice from somebody. Or like I said, you could be this empress giving advice to somebody else. But somebody out here is getting advice from an empress energy, encouraging them to love themselves first, teaching you or giving you advice on how to set boundaries with this narcissistic person that you're dealing with. Give me another card. Cassette, it says outdated thinking. Conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So, yeah, this person could have did something to you and it kind of just, like, changed the way you look at them or you lost respect for this person because of something that they did. Because cassette is, like, something that this person did or an event that took place with this person that keeps you replaying over in your mind. It's like the more you think about it, the more you're like, you know what? Like, this person is not really worth it. You know, I feel like your taste is changing. Your taste buds when it comes to a relationship. Um, like what you desire, what what the things that you need from a partner in, in a relationship are changing. And I feel like whoever this person is that you've been dealing with, whatever here, whatever this event was that took place, it, it's not, it ain't it no more. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you were accepting something from someone and some of you are like, I don't even know why the fuck I was dealing with this for so long. Like, this is just not even my speed no more. This is not even what, like, it's this person, I don't know. It's just like, whatever they're offering you, whatever they're giving you, is this not your taste anymore. It's like, maybe you, you know, and don't take this the wrong way. Don't take the wrong reason. I'm just using this as an analogy. But for some of you, maybe, you know, you like, you used to like eating ramen noodles and shit, right? But now it's like, you like low main now. You know what I'm saying? You like Japanese noodles and shit, the real authentic shit now. So it's just kind of like ramen noodles, Roman noodles don't do it for you no more. You're just like, mm, I don't think I'm good on this. It's like some of you are just realizing like you wasted time on somebody that's not even like was worth it. Hi, mamas. Say hi, Snow. Hi, Snow. She want to make her appearance in water sign reading. What's up, mamas? What's up, mamas? Y'all, this is Snow, my cat. My little kitten baby. I'm working snow, so I can't pick you up and hold you and play with you. She's so spoiled. She think I'm supposed to just hold her constantly. Like, whenever she's done playing, it's like, okay, mommy, pick me up. Like, nah. But anyway, yeah, it's just like your taste has changed in something or in someone. You're just not attracted to them no more. 
And it could be because of this narcissistic energy. Like, you're realizing, like, that shit ain't it. Somebody who's, like, narcissistic, controlling, you know, never apologizes, never think they did anything wrong. It's like you're over it with this person. It's like, that shit is just draining. It's toxic. It's low vibe. It's not helping anything. You know what I'm saying? So, it's it. So, a lot of you are... A lot of you are realizing your worth or you're you're getting advice from somebody or a mother figure or just somebody who has a lot of experience. They're in their empress energy and they're giving you advice on how to um, love yourself first, how to enable boundaries, how to uh, take your power back in a situation. Yeah, because on the bottom of the deck, we got ascending. It says transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Yeah, it's like you're learning. You know what I'm saying? Like you're learning or you're learning a lesson out here when it comes to somebody that you've been dealing with. It's like you're realizing like, you know what? I don't have to tolerate this. Like I actually deserve better. You know, my taste actually has changed in men or women. So you're actually not even my type no more. You can't play up here. All right, water signs. What's the message? Water signs. Yeah, well, I definitely feel like something occurred here in the past, though, because said something that this person did or said um, that you just can't get past. Because it says cassette. It's something that this person did that just like rubs you the wrong way or it just replays in your head like all the time. It's like you can't help but think about what this person said or done. It's just like, ugh. It's just like, ugh. Yeah, that was the Wheel of Fortune reverse that tried to come out. So, yeah, some of you, this is a, you're in the middle of learning a karmic lesson about somebody that you've been dealing with. It's like your taste buds have changed for this situation or this person. Like, it doesn't feel the same. It doesn't t taste the same. You know what I'm saying? When I say taste, I just mean, like, energetically. Like, it's not, it don't. What? What? Yeah, we got the Eight of Pentacles reverse. So, yeah, somebody could have been half assing you, putting in the bare minimum. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Eight of Pentacles reverse, or in this deck, it's called the Eight of Spheres. But Eight of Pentacles reverse is somebody who's half assing, somebody who doesn't want to put in the work. They're putting in little to no effort. I'm talking about literally the bare minimum with the Eight of Pentacles reverse. And you're just like, you know, this could be somebody that's like extremely lazy when it comes to you, when it comes to this relationship and shit. It's just like zero effort or the bare minimum. You know what I'm saying? Just enough to keep you around, but it's still not, it's damn near nothing. Yeah, we got the star. Yeah, so a lot of you are healing. Like, yeah, some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, so like I said, this could be an Aquarius that's healing from you, water sign. Take it as it resonates. But yeah, we got the star energy out here. This is you healing. This is you. You could be doing a lot of praying, a lot of meditating, uh, getting back in tune with the universe. This is having an attitude of gratitude, realizing that, you know what? Shit could be a lot worse. You know what I'm saying? It's other people out here going through situations that are way worse than mine. I should be grateful that I even have the opportunity to change my circumstances. Like a lot of you are healing, okay? Like real shit. Yeah, then we got the nine of pentacles. So, yeah, this is... Some of you are deciding to be single. It's like you'd rather take your chances being single than continue to deal with this narcissistic-ass person. Like, real shit. Some of you, yeah. Spirit is telling me that some of you... Maybe you tried to reconcile with somebody here recently. And... Or in the recent past, maybe you tried to reconcile with somebody or you tried to heal the situation with somebody with a star card here. Because a star card can talk about reconciliation too. But a lot of you are realizing that mm, I think like if you took a break from somebody and then y'all tried to get back together, tried to reconcile and heal some shit. I feel like that time apart made you realize like this is just not it. This is not for me. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't like the way this feels anymore. Like some of you, like you took a vacation or you took a break from this person and went on some type of healing journey or you got some type of advice from an empress or something and you're just like, yeah, I, I think I'm done with this here. Nine of Pentacles is independent. Like, learning to be self-sufficient, working on your confidence, healing your emotional aspect, you know, shit that you need to work on. Like, this is real good. I love this. 
Like, real shit. Yeah, look at that. Look at you. Queen of Cups. Okay, Waterside. All right. Yes, bitch. You better come through in this motherfucker. Queen of Cups. Y'all are healing y'all selves. Y'all focusing on self-love. All that love and energy that you've been pouring out to somebody else, you're putting that back, back into you. You're like, you know what? Fuck you. This is about me. Empress energy out here. Y'all self-care. Getting y'all nails done. Going out for drinks. I'm talking about doing whatever is bringing you emotional fulfillment like real shit look at the tower right underneath that yeah some of y'all had an epiphany or a tower moment where you a, a realization a revelation with the tower where you're just like you know what i'd rather go on a fool's journey i'd rather be single be single and happy and, and in control of my emotions like some of you are learning to manage your emotions like real shit you're learning to manage your emotions, your healing, you're focused on self-care, working on healing yourself, working on being in control of your emotions, not letting nobody take you out of character and shit. Oh, shit, water sign. Some of you, Scorpio, you're out here. Oh, shit. Yeah, look at y'all. Ascending, growing. Yes, water signs. You better go. Okay, period. That's the eight of pentacles reverse. That's what's up. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, because you had somebody out here that's like just draining your energy, like you know, leaving you depleted. Just eight of pentacles reverse, just doing the bare minimum, half assing you all the time. It's just like, damn, what the fuck is the point of this shit if you're not really gonna put in any effort? Yeah, look at that. The Howard fart. Yeah, some of you were married to somebody or you still could be legally married to somebody for some of you. But it's like you're separated from this person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Howard fine. The most high is watching over you. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Howard fine is up here. Some of you are like, you're like, no, you're the Howard fine talks about uh, wisdom. Somebody who is. Who has learned a lot of spiritual lessons and shit. They got a lot of experience under their belt. So they know how to be disciplined. They know how to stand on their morals in their, 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 uh, what do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, just your standards, your morals. It's like you're no longer letting somebody slide on how to treat you. You being more disciplined in your belief system, whatever your whatever your faith is, whatever your belief system is, or you're just believing it in God. Like this is like no, like the star with the hierophant. It's like absolutely not. Like uh, I'm focused on my career. I'm healing. I'm doing me. And I'm I'm standing on what I know is right. Like you're listening to your intuition out here with the Queen of Cups upright is your overall energy. Yeah, the star and the hierophant too. Some of you can work in the beauty industry with the star and the empress on here. Some of you could do hair, nails, brows. Um, you could be an esthetician or a stylist or something here. And some of you could be in a public eye with the star card here. Yeah, the hierophant. It's like you're standing on your on your beliefs. It's just like, nah, this ain't it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the hierophant here. Seven of Cups reverse. Yeah, Seven of Cups reverse. That's Pisces energy. Seven of Cups reverse is a reality check. A lot of y'all are taking off the rose colored glasses. You're seeing somebody for wh who and what they are. You're no longer romanticizing a situation with somebody. You're like, like, what the fuck have I been doing all this time? Like, this person was never worth all this energy, all this effort, all this time. Like, like, bitch, do you know who the fuck I am? Like, I'm the motherfucking Queen of Cups, okay? I'm the star. I'm a healer, a lover. You know what I'm saying? I'm not meant to be being drained and, and um, fucked up and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Seven of Cups, it's like you're no longer looking at somebody like rose-colored glasses. Maybe some of you fell out of love with somebody here recently. Now that you... You know, so somebody or something has woke you up about this person with their tower card being underneath the Queen of Cups. It's like you're realizing you're worth realizing that somebody doesn't actually deserve you. Realizing that you could do a lot better than this situation that you've been entertaining. You know, I feel like this is this is that point. This is like 
that point you get like the point that you get in a relationship when you're just really tired of somebody's shit. You know, you're tired of doing the same shit over and over again. You're tired of repeating the same thing. You're tired of talking to this person. You're just tired and you don't want to do it no more. This is that point where you're like, I'm going to do something about this. I'm going to get back to me. Like real shit. I was seven of cups here. Some of you could even like, if you, if Pisces, if you, uh, I mean, I don't know why I said Pisces. I don't know why I said Pisces, but water signs. If you if you also um, dealt with like drinking or alcoholism, I see you healing from that too. Some of you are deciding to stop drinking. That's what's up, water signs. I'm proud of you. This is this is amazing. Like real shit. How's the seven of cups here? It says the world card. Yeah, so I said you, you're waking up. It's like you're tired of repeating something with somebody. You're tired of going around and around and around and around in circles with somebody. And it's just, it's never getting anywhere. I feel like you've been repeating the same cycle with a person for a long ass time. And it's just like you're tired. It's like you're getting off the motherfucking hamster wheel, okay? Like real shit. Why is the world card reversed? Ace of Swords, yeah. And somebody, you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but somebody out here is also in denial with the Ace of Swords reverse. Somebody may be believing. So it's like you're healing and like moving on from somebody or detaching and somebody out here, whoever this Ace of Swords reverse person is, they, they're, it's like this person refused to believe that you're done with them. It's like they don't believe it's true. They're like, yeah, yeah, water sign, like, you always say you're doing me, whatever. You know, type shit, Ace of Swords, it could be an air sign that's doing this, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, heavy on the Aquarius energy out here. But yeah, it was like you're literally detaching from somebody, putting yourself first, healing yourself, nine of pentacles. A lot of you are deciding to be single or you're definitely considering it. And it's like somebody out here doesn't believe you, though. They're like, water sign, you leaving me? Yeah, okay, bye. Like, <laughs> like it's like somebody don't believe you. Why is the star card here? Yeah, five of swords. Uh-huh. Five of Swords is trying to win at all costs, trying to one up, being in secret competition, being jealous, being like wanting revenge, short lived victories. Like, this is somebody who likes to play mind games with you, uh, water signs, or this is your ass doing this, take it as it resonates. But yeah, this is somebody who likes to play mind games. For some of you, you're healing from this person and they're trying to manipulate your healing process. This is somebody who's trying to trick you into believing that. Maybe you won't be better off without them or you won't make it without them or five of swords. It's like this person's trying to challenge your healing, your growth, you know, because you could be telling this person like, oh, I'm healing. Like I'm doing me. I'm self-love, self-care. And this person may be trying to tell you like it's too late to be doing that or something. It's like this person's doing something like they're playing mind games or trickery or something with the mind, with the mental space to try to like get you to not heal to not change your mind to distort your energy you know what i'm saying because the seven of cups reverse you're no longer like i said you're no longer romanticizing somebody you're seeing them for who and what the fuck they are and i don't think you like what you see you don't like how it feels you don't like how this person's energy is you know you used to when you had the rose colored glasses on and you was only looking at this person about y'all future and how y'all would look when y'all get married and shit it's just like now that you're just really in the present and you're looking at this person and what the fuck has been going on you're just like uh-uh like i think i'ma just go on here about myself but this person is trying to like trigger you into believing that you won't be better off without them or that you're not going to be able to heal. It's like somebody is like, you healing is triggering this person. Because this person might have been trying to siphon your energy or feed off your energy for a very long time. Why is the five of swords here? Yeah, 
Yeah, the fool card. Yeah, because you're trying to free yourself from somebody or a situation and somebody is the five of swords energy. They don't like you trying to heal. You don't they don't like you trying to be free and shit. Like the fool card. Some of you could be dealing with the Aries, but somebody doesn't like that. How's the fool card? Yeah, some of you are cheap. You're deciding to take a leap of faith. You're like, fuck this person. Like, I tried to work with you. I tried to love you. I tried to heal you. I tried to do all this shit and nothing works. It's just like, I can't keep saving you. Yeah, two of, what's that? Two of wands reverse. Yeah, somebody's refusing to come with you on this new journey. Like, you may have told this person, like, look, like, if you're willing to change, if you want to go on this healing journey with me, then, you know, I can, you can come with me. But I feel like somebody here is, like, giving you, like... They're giving you pushback. You know what I'm saying? You may be trying to encourage this person to heal. Let's grow. Like, come with me. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to get left behind. Like, you can come with me. We can do this together. And somebody here is, like, giving you pushback. Like, they don't want to do it. Two of Wands, they're scared. Because the Two of Wands can speak to needing to make a decision, being at a crossroads about where you're getting ready to go next, which path you're going to take. When it's in the reverse, it's like somebody's letting fear stop them from taking a new journey. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody out here is too scared. You know what I'm saying? Why is the two of wands? So that may be what you're getting advice on. It's like, should I leave this person behind? Because, you know, I'm I'm working on me now. I'm healing on me. You know what I'm saying? If you want to come with me so we can do this together, cool. But if not, I, I'm going to have to let you go type shit. Yeah. The hermit car reverse, yeah. This is somebody who suffers with depression, somebody who's codependent, somebody who's extremely lonely. Like, yeah, it's somebody who's trying to stop you from from being single and healing and wanting to work on yourself. It's somebody trying to stop that process for you because they're lonely, because they're codependent, because they don't work on themselves. That person could be struggling from depression and shit. With the hermit reverse, that's somebody who doesn't go within and don't work on themselves or nothing. But you're trying to do that and somebody's trying to stop you. Why is the hermit card reverse? But it's like this person has turned you off, disgusted you. Sun card reverse, yeah. But some of you, this could be a Leo. Sun card reverse, yeah. Heavy depression. So whoever this person you're dealing with, they could just definitely suffer from depression with the hermit and the sun reverse. Virgo. Leo out here, Taurus, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Why is the sun reverse? Yeah, it's just like this person that you're dealing with, nothing makes this person happy. It's because they're 3D. Like, water sign, you're starting to listen to your intuition when it comes to some shit, you know, about your life and where you're headed next, where you want to go, your desires, your dreams, your goals what you need to do like you're you're listening to your intuition now you're going with those good instincts this person isn't doing that the king of pentacles reverses somebody who's extremely 3d somebody who's not tapped in at all this is definitely somebody you were dealing with who could have cheated on you before because the king of pentacles reverses somebody who's not loyal like you so you definitely could have been married to, with this person or this is somebody that you've been with a long time capricorn capricorn Taurus, or a virgo but this is somebody who's very materialistic, very selfish, very self-serving. Um, this somebody who can make money like in some sort of in some sort of unusual way. Um, the King of Pentacles reverse. I mean, he's all about the coin. He could be materialistic, money hungry. Um, he could be like a male gold digger, you know, for some of you. So so this for some of you, this person could have been using you for money, um, uh, for some of you. Um but the King of Pentacles reverse, that is somebody who's just out for self. They're greedy. They're selfish. They're materialistic. This person's never satisfied no matter what. You know what I'm saying? No matter how much money they make, no matter what you do for this person, it's just like they're ungrateful. You know what I'm saying? King of Pentacles reverse. And like I said, this is somebody who could possibly, for some of you, this person, I don't know what they do for a living, but the King of Pentacles reverse can be like a drug dealer, somebody who makes money under the table some sort of way. Um... But I feel like you're finally letting this shit go. 
whether you're already single or whether you're trying to free yourself from this person or some of you, you already moved on, but you've been holding a grudge against this person because of how they treated you. But you're finally letting it go, finally releasing it. Like, it's no reason to be mad at this person. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just They're just not your taste anymore. Why is the nine of pentacles here? nine of swords reverse yeah some of y'all you didn't got to the point where you just don't give a fuck it's like why should i be concerned about whatever the fuck this person is doing like this your raggedy ass life i'm gonna i'm gonna manifest my dreams i'm gonna get what i want at the end of the day like fuck you nine of swords reverse like somebody's just like they're like i don't give a fuck anymore it's just like you just woke up one day and like you know what fuck this shit fuck this person like you know what i'm saying like real shit you're tired of this person. Like, you're at this is you reached your breaking point with somebody. That's the word I was looking for. Breaking point. Why is the nine of swords reversed? You reached your limit. You're, you're, you're like, mm -mm, I can do better. I can do bad all by myself. I can do better without this motherfucker. I'm out of here. You're doing you. Queen of Cups, nine of pentacles, money looking good, or you're working on getting your money. You know, you're, you're thriving, your business, whatever this is that you do creatively. It's like people are fucking with you and shit. It's just like, and, and you're realizing like, now that you've, taking back your power and stop focusing so much on this person and start focusing on yourself shit is starting to manifest like real shit it's just like some people are like why the fuck did i do this sooner like <laughs> that was a nine of swords reverse here this is nine of swords is zero fucks given about a situation or a person it's like you don't care no more yeah look at that the empress came out again yes oh my god yes i love this for you water sign Yes, the Empress, y'all look good, honey, okay? Bad bitch, period. I'm talking about nails done, hair done. You didn't pop out. You back on your shit. Like how you used to dress, putting your little clothes and your little outfits together. I'm talking about you out here with it. Okay, water sign, you like, let me show you what the fuck. Do you, do you know who I am? I'm a bad bitch, period. The Empress is the baddest bitch in the deck. Oh, God, like, period. Like, it's only one in the deck. That's what I'm saying. You're, you're showing somebody like, nigga, you thought I didn't love myself? Bitch, please. I love me. Period. <laughs> okay. Period. Yes. Okay. Shit. Let's see. That's the Queen of Cups here. But I feel like this person don't believe you. Like, this person thinks you're lying or you're faking or something, but you're definitely not. That's the Queen of Cups here. You are definitely not playing with somebody. The tower came out again. Yes, this is like a revelation or an epiphany. You're just like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck this shit. I'm about to do me. Like, I am no longer holding myself back because of some situation and shit. Like, fuck this. You know, you're, you're, you're. Okay, water sign. Why is the, why is the ace of swords here? I want to go back to this person that don't believe you. Why is the ace of swords here? Yeah, eight of wands. Uh huh. This person may be blowing up your phone back and forth to communication, and you're just not answering. It's like this person thought this shit was a game. Somebody thought that you were playing about you taking off, getting your shit together. Eight of wands. Like, you own your shit, and somebody out here is shocked. Yeah, look at that. Three of swords. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Somebody, somebody is going to end up heartbreaking. I mean, being heartbroken. Three of swords might be a Libra. Why's the three of swords here? Mm -hmm. Somebody thought that you was just gonna let them like somebody thought that you was just gonna sit back and let them run all over you. And I ain't gonna lie, water sign, maybe you did for a second, but now you're coming out of that shit. The tower, the nine of swords reverse, the nine of pen, nine of pentacles, queen of cups upright, the empress upright. You're like, I don't give a fuck. Even if you are pregnant by this person, you still don't give a damn. You're like, bitch, I any do you know how many niggas would love to serve me okay bitch and you playing in my face no sir yeah look at this seven of wands reverse because mm -hmm. this person could have embarrassed you in the past in regards to something what is this seven of wands reverse yeah this this person could have did something in the past that really embarrassed you you're just like what the fuck like uh, -uh. get somebody else to do it why is the seven of wands here 
We have four of pentacles reverse. Uh -huh. Because the four of pentacles is a miserly energy. Four of pentacles in the reverse talks about holding on too tightly to something. So for some of you, this person could have like embarrassed you or humiliated you in like something to the nature of, yeah, they'll never leave me or they can't leave me alone or like they stuck on me or something like that and you're just like bitch what like you really think i'm a motherfucking simp you think i really can't leave your ass you think i really won't move the fuck on okay one more why is the tower and the queen of cups here and then i'm gonna get off of here because i'm already going too long why is the tower with the queen of cups Yeah, Ten of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, a lot of you, you were married to this person or with them for a long time and like nothing ever came of it. Ten of Pentacles is a reverse. Like, you know, this is like faking, pretending like you're happy with this person, this relationship, like everything is solid and stable and your relationship goals and shit. I'm like, a lot of y'all are tired of that fake ass shit. You're tired of pretending like you're happy with this person. You're tired of acting like this shit gonna get better. It's just like, you're done pretending. You're done giving more fucks then should be given like you're done you're focused on you queen of cups healing you got a good ass friend out here or something that really supports your decision and moving on and being single like you're going to be good water sign you can move on from this person and you're going to be good period bottom of the deck yeah ten of wands because this shit been stressing you and burning you the fuck out yeah, somebody taking their sweet ass time to to so this could even be somebody that you engaged to. You supposed to have been getting married a long time ago. They taking their sweet ass time to really um make that real commitment, that solid commitment to you. Ten of Wands, you know, this person just taking too long to get on their shit or to level up and shit. Yeah, Moon Car Reverse. Yeah, you're tired of this person. Some of you could have been dealing with other water signs too, so it could be water on water. But yeah, you're over it. Ten of Wands. You're like, this is I've reached my breaking point. Ten of Wands. Anyway, water sign. This has been your reading. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will holla at y'all later. Peace.